Jess, that's right. A lot of people are talking about this one. So I spoke to the author of the bill who says the punishment currently is too harsh. Everybody's getting all upset that this is a bill to try to bring back cockfighting. It is not. Why do you think the law needs to change? Well, this is about criminal justice reform. If you raise a chicken with the intent to fight, it is a felony and you can receive up to 10 years. And state rep Justin Humphrey says that punishment is too steep. It still will be a crime. It will be a misdemeanor crime. So make sure the, the crime uh, meets the punishment, the punishment meets crime. Humphrey pointed me to state question 780, which Oklahoma voters approved about five years ago, changing some drug crimes from felonies down to misdemeanors. We want to say, well, that's okay to be a misdemeanor, but something over here that has way less impact on society and on people and victimizes uh, no one except the chicken. When we begin to uh, make a chicken's life worth more than a human, uh, I think we've got a problem. But are you taking the consequence away? If you ever spend a year in jail, you, you know that that's pretty good, pretty good hit. How big is cockfighting right now in Oklahoma? Raising chickens and shipping them over to other places that, that do this is a big, big deal and it's a big money maker. I also spoke to Oklahoma's Humane Society about this. They are vehemently against lessening the penalty for cockfighting. In part, quote, the misdemeanor penalties are nothing more than the equivalent of an expensive traffic ticket, so minimal that cockfighters would view the occasional arrest as a minor cost of doing business. Adding, quote, cockfighting is often associated with other criminal activities, including illegal gambling and narcotics, ending with, cockfighting is cruel and inhumane. Now this bill passed out of committee today. It is now headed for the House floor.